Hello friends, I am Rahul and you are watching Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss the physical significance of divergence of a vector field. But to go to that point that what divergence really signifies, we have to first know about what a vector field really is, right? So suppose we have a region of space. So and and uh, suppose in this region there is a vector field. In this region there is a vector field. So we can say that the vector field associates each point in space in this region with a some kind of vector with a some kind of vector. So what is this? We can take a simple example to understand it very clearly. Suppose uh, we have a region of space and in this region water is flowing. Water is flowing uh, suppose in this direction. So here each water molecules, each water molecules have velocities, each water molecules have velocities suppose this is represented by V vector, the velocity of the water molecules. So we can say that in this region of space there is a vector field and the vector field associates each water molecules in this region with a some kind of vector and here the vector is v vector the velocity of the water molecules so this is uh, the concept of vector field now what divergence a signifies so, so divergence a is written like this del dot a vector so you can easily see that here the vector field is a vector right so its significance is hidden inside its name divergence divergence means something that is that is diverging that is spreading outside so divergence a tells us how much the vector a spreads out from a point how much the vector a vector a spreads out from a point that tells us the divergence or uh, we can say it in an another way that is number two the amount of flux entering or leaving a point that is the amount of flux entering means converging converging suppose these vector fields are converging in this point so entering in this point or leaving a point or leaving here the vectors you can see that here the vectors are leaving from a point so the amount of flux entering or leaving a point is called the divergence so why i have uh, state here the flux the amount of flux what is the relation between flux and divergence right so we will gradually uh, go to that point what the relation flux and uh, relation between flux and divergence but we can easily uh, understand a thing that we all know the Gauss divergence theorem so from this theorem we can write that the surface integral of suppose a vector a dot ds vector this is equal to from di uh, from divergence theorem we can uh, write that this is equal to the volume integral of divergence a dv here v is the volume enclosed by the surface s so here this is divergence divergence of a del dot a and here a dot ds this is nothing but the flux of a right so there is a relation between flux and divergence but uh, to go to that point uh, we have to before go to, going to that point, we have to understand an important thing that is when the vectors, when the vectors are spreading outside from a point, we call the point that this point, this point possesses a positive divergence. That is here in this point, the divergence of A is greater than zero. And in this case, where the field vectors are converging into a point, here the divergence is negative. That is, del dot a here is negative, less than zero. 
So we can uh, uh, visualize this thing uh, with an example, very simple example. Suppose you were, uh, suppose uh, we are standing at the edge of a pond. Okay, we are standing at the edge of a pond, and we sprinkle some sawdust, some sawdust or pine needles into the water of the pond. So what happens? What we can see? We can see that the, either the uh, sawdust in the water are spreading outside from a point. Otherwise, the uh, sawdust in the water are converging into a point. So when we see that the sawdust are spreading from a point, we can say that the point possesses a positive divergence. And when the sawdust are converging into a point, we can say that the uh, point possesses a negative divergence. So now I will make some mathematical calculations to understand it more clearly. To understand the, to understand the significance of del dot a more clearly. And I will derive the expression for del dot a, the divergence, the expression of divergence. So if you have uh, watched the video right, uh, till now, so please watch the video till the end because this part is also very important to understand the whole concept very clearly. Imagine a fluid is moving like this in 3D, right? In three dimension. So imagine this. We are considering a cube, okay? A cube or a rectangular uh, shape that is a parallelopiped here. So and suppose the uh, fluid is moving in uh, such a way that the velocity of the particles or uh, the water particles of the fluid is a function of <coughs> is a function of the coordinates x comma y comma z okay so suppose this is the center of the uh, parallelopiped p this is p point p and here the velocity v is suppose v which is the function of x comma y comma z Suppose the x component of velocity v at the point p is suppose v1. Therefore, x component of velocity at the center of the AFED phase, x component of velocity at the center AFED phase. Imagine this. What will be that? As we are moving in backward side, uh, the phase AFED is backward to back to point p okay so there will be the comp uh, the x component of v v1 minus there will be a decrease so v1 minus what will be the change do v1 by do x it is clear the change is do v1 by dx the infinitesimal change is do v1 by do x and what is the distance from p point to the center of the phase AFED that is del x by 2 because we are considering the three phases the three uh, sides of this um, parallel pivot del x del y and del z so it will look like this v1 minus dou v1 by dou x into the distance del x by 2 so what will be the volume of the fluid crossing AFED? That is the volume of the fluid crossing AFED phase. What will be that? This component of velocity into the other two sides. That's a, that, uh, these are uh, constants in this uh, case. So the other sides are what? Del Y and Del Z. Imagine these all things. The volume, we are, uh, we are interested in calculating the volume. So the volume of fluid crossing AFEDE per time is the velocity into the area. We know that the velocity is nothing but the displacement per time. So displacement into area that is the volume per time. So the volume crossing per time that is this expression. Similarly, we can do the volume of fluid crossing the face GHCB that is the front face. There, there will be uh, this will be the expression will be same but there will be a, only a plus sign because uh, the phase now we are considering is 
front to point P. The face is front to point P. So the expression is this. So remember all these things which I have done right now because I am going to remove this. Previously, we have seen that this is the expression for the uh, volume of fluid crossing through the surface A, F, E, D and this is the expression for the volume of fluid crossing the surface B, G, H, C. So the loss in volume per unit time in the x direction will be this minus this that is this. If you calculate this minus this, this will be look like this. So this is for the x direction. Similarly, if we calculate for uh, if, if we calculate the same thing, the loss in volume per unit time for y direction, in the y direction, that will look like this, and the same expression for the z axis for the z direction will be look like this. So the total loss in volume, the total loss in volume of the fluid per unit volume, per unit time will be what the summation of all the threes that is this expression this so when the volume tends to zero that is when del x del y and del z approaches zero then only we can say that this expression will be converted to del v, uh, dou v1 by dou x plus dou v2 by dou y plus dou v 3y dou z this and then we this expression this expression will be equal to the divergence of v vector this is our very important point that is when the uh, volume of the parallel pipette shrinks to a point sinks to a point that means when the volume tends to zero the del x del, del, del y del z approaches zero then the expression for the total loss in volume of the fluid the total loss in volume of the fluid per unit volume that is the flux that is the flux becomes the expression for divergence of the field vector v so if in this region there is no source or no sink then we can say that the amount of fluid entering in this uh, parallel pipette will be the same of the amount of fluid uh, spreading outside or leaving the parallel pipette that is then the total loss of volume uh, of the total loss in volume of the fluid per unit volume per unit time this will be zero that is del dot v the divergence of v will be then zero and when this case happens that del dot v is zero we can say that the uh, uh, field vector that is the, or the vector field is solenoidal so you can easily understand that this is wh which i have derived is the expression of the flux of the vector field v entering or leaving a point and this is nothing but the divergence at that point of the vector field v i think that you have understood this topic very clearly so if you are really benefited by this video so like this video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications of my conceptual videos and share this video more and more to your friends so take care of yourself thank you for watching